Stephanie, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Trader Joe's haul and not just a regular Trader Joe's haul, a pumpkin fall Trader Joe's haul, so you know it's one of the best ones. So I got a bunch of stuff, we got four bags here and we spent $130, which actually was a pretty good price for all the stuff we got. I was a little surprised, I thought we were gonna spend more. So I'm gonna go ahead and unpack some of this stuff and let's get right into what I got. All right guys, as always, I'm gonna start with some of the frozen stuff just so I can get it into the fridge. So first thing over here, this is one of the best seasonal fall items at Trader Joe's. It's the butternut squash mac and cheese. This just tastes so, so good. The cheese, the seasoning, it's just really good. And you can have this as a lunch. You could put some, um, like some of their sausage, cut that up and put it in there to add a little bit of protein if you want. But we got four boxes just because I love it so much, um, either, either as a side or as an easy lunch. Um, so we grabbed four of those. Next, I grabbed the pumpkin waffles. These are also very good. I love Trader Joe's. Um, toaster waffles and the pumpkin flavored ones are very, very good. So I had to pick up one of those as a nice, quick and easy breakfast. Then of course, you know I always get these. This is the mandarin orange chicken and the Japanese style fried rice. This is one of our go-to dinners for when we feel like takeout but want to save on the cost. This is super easy to come together and I love this fried rice. It is just so good. I also grabbed the frozen organic jasmine rice. We're going to be doing a curry this week for one of our um, meals and I just felt like doing the frozen version of the rice rather than um, having to wait to cook it on the stovetop. So I grabbed that. Also grabbed a bag of um, french fries just to have as a side for some salmon burgers for one of our dinners. Here is another pumpkin item. This is, I actually haven't tried this, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about these. These came out, I think, for the first time last year. These are the mini spicy pumpkin samosas. We've tried the other flavors of samosas from Trader Joe's and we've liked both of them. I have our, um, Indian food taste test. I'll link that above where we tried both of those, but I haven't tried these pumpkin ones and I have heard good things. So I'm very excited to try these. And then two just refrigerated items. So I'm gonna pop those in the fridge. We got some unexpected cheddar cheese, the shred version this time. So we do normally get the block, but we're gonna do grilled cheese sandwiches. And I did want to try um, having some of this unexpected cheddar cheese on the grilled cheese. I'm not sure how it melts. I hope it melts okay but I just felt like it sounded good. So we got that. And then lastly, we picked up the butternut squash ravioli. This I have tried before, it's good. It is a little bit um, on the sweeter side. So if you don't like um, your savory foods a little sweet, you might not like it, but I do find it um, a nice seasonal uh, ravioli. All right, I'll just quickly show some of the produce that we got this week. Um, we grabbed a thing of Brussels sprouts. Nothing is like fall like Brussels sprouts and sweet potatoes. What a magic combination. Um, so we're gonna have those both roasted up for dinner this week. I also grabbed some snow peas. This is to toss in the curry that I was talking about earlier. And then these, I think our seasonal product, um, these are honey bear, honey cubbies, honey apple crisp apples and you get a two pound bag and I believe it was around three dollars which I felt like was a good deal because um Trader Joe's the other honey crisp apples are a little over a dollar each and they are huge um so I mean I don't know I feel like price wise they're better though because sometimes I have a hard time finishing that whole like really big um apple so I feel like these little bite-sized ones um will be good and I love honey crisp apples so hopefully these taste pretty good then just for some recipes, we grabbed an onion, garlic, and shallot. And then for that grilled cheese that I was talking about, we got a loaf of sourdough. All right, got a few seasonal items in this little grouping here. So first I grabbed the organic creamy tomato soup, the low sodium. Um, I love this tomato soup. It is probably the best tomato soup. I know a lot of people like the roasted red pepper version, but I'm allergic to red peppers or bell peppers in general. So I've not tried that, but I do really love this one. So we're gonna have that with our grilled cheese. This is a new item. This is the cheesy seasoning blend. And we eat popcorn quite frequently. And I just thought this sounded so good to top on our freshly popped popcorn um, on the weeknight. So I am excited to give this a try. We are just out of salt. So I grabbed a thing of salt. And this is for the curry that I was talking about for dinner one night. Um, 
We've tried, I think, all the flavors of curry sauce, and we quite like them all. We just went for yellow curry this week, and I like to add a can of coconut milk to it just to um, extend the sauce and add just a little bit of that coconut flavor. And over here, we got some of the seasonal items. So we grabbed the pumpkin bisque, and this is a creamy soup with pumpkin and fall spices. And I have not tried this one yet, so I'm hoping for good things. I love soup, and it's soup season, baby, so... <laughs> Uh, well, maybe not in Florida quite yet, but I can pretend. And then we grabbed this kale and cauliflower chili, and this says it's with navy beans. And this, I'm not sure if it's a new seasonal item or if it's just a seasonal item, but the um, checkout lady said that this was super good and she really recommended it. So I'm excited to um, try that. And then this is the cinnamon bun spread. This stuff is so good, you guys. Um, it's really good on toast or I'm going to put it on those pumpkin waffles. Um, it is just so tasty so I definitely recommend um, picking up a jar of this. It does tend to go quickly. Um, it is a favorite um, Trader Joe's seasonal item so if you see it I would definitely give it, uh, give it a try if you are interested in it. All right here are a few of the drinks we grabbed this week. Um, David just grabbed a handcrafted root beer, Virgil's, um, this is the green apple sparkling water. I've heard this is a really great seasonal flavor and I love sparkling water, so I'm excited to try that. This is the wine that I buy every time, just the Charles Shaw brand um, Sauvignon Blanc. And then these seemed really good um, and there were only a few left on the shelf, so I think they're gonna be a very popular item. And this is the coffee peanut butter cup porter and it's a porter with peanut butter powder, coffee and lactose. And yeah, that just sounds really, really good. So I am excited to try these. I love peanut butter porters and I love coffee porters. So I'm excited to try these. We got one for each of us. And then we also grabbed the apple cider scent um, foaming hand soap. We were out of soap in the kitchen. So I grabbed this fun fall flavored one. And now I'm gonna bring out the stuff you've probably been waiting for, all of the fall snacks. All right, guys, I got a bunch of these snacks out. I'm gonna start with one that I don't think is seasonal, um, but we just grabbed because it sounded good. We grabbed this box of dark chocolate covered cherries. I'm not sure that I've seen this, so maybe it is seasonal, maybe it's new. I'm not sure, maybe I've just never seen it and picked it up, but we did grab that. And now let's get into some of the fun stuff. So these are the items that we decided to pick up this week. So first we got these cornbread crisps and I have had these before, they are good. Um, we are going to dip them in that um, uh, chili that I showed you just a little bit ago and I think that'll be a really good um, combo. Next we grab the petite pumpkin spice cookies. Again, this is something that we have had before. These are shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating and these are very good, we love these. Um, definitely worth picking up. We also grabbed the pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds, and these are also good. We have had these before, so um, I would definitely recommend these if you like uh, pumpkin seeds. These are a nice, quick snack. And let's see, next one we got is the organic pumpkin spice granola bark. And we have had, I don't think we've had this one. We've had the other granola bark, the coconut one, and we do really like that. So I'm excited to try this pumpkin version one. And it says it is a pumpkin spice flavored granola layered with dark chocolate and topped with toasted pumpkin seeds. So I do think that we will um, really enjoy this since we enjoy the other one and there's nutrition. All right, and then some fun desserts over here. We, oh, that's the back. We got the Halloween JoJo's cookies. These are very good, um, better than the Oreo Halloween ones, I think. Um, these are really, really tasty and they have fun faces on them. So if you have kids, I think that's super fun. Um, but I definitely recommend grabbing these. We like these better than the pumpkin spice JoJo's. Um, we just think these ones overall are better than those. So we decided to pick these ones up. We also got a box of the pumpkin bread and muffin mix. Um, I mean, pumpkin bread, you can't go wrong with pumpkin bread in October. And um, I, I want to try this um, and maybe try it topped with some of that cinnamon bun spread. I feel like that might be really good just to like cut a piece and put that on there. I don't know if you've tried that, let me know. I just feel like that would um, taste good. They also have at Trader Joe's a lot of other little jarred toppings, like there's um, maple butter and there's pumpkin um, spread. So any of those would probably be really good to spread on this pumpkin mix. Um, but I have the cinnamon bun spread, so I am gonna try it with that. 
And then I grabbed two of these from the bakery section. So these, I believe we tried these last year and I remember them being quite good. I remember them tasting more like a cake than a like a brownie blondie, um, but I do remember them still being very, very good. So it's the pumpkin blondie brownies and these have white chocolate chips and pecans. And I do remember these being very good and moist. And so that is why I picked it up again. I'm excited to retry it this year. And then the pumpkin um, chocolate mousse cakes. I love every version of these mousse cakes that Trader Joe's puts out. They put out these um, seasonally and they change like the flavor and the design. Um, and I always pick them up and they're always gone within like a day. They're so good. Um, so these are velvety chocolate cakes layered with silky mousse. And I know that these are gonna be delicious. Oh, and I almost forgot, I do want to show you this too. This is relatively new. Um, we already ate it. Um, we ate it on the drive home. This is the Bomba. So they have um, just the regular Bomba. This is the new version. This is the Bomba Puff Peanut and Corn Snacks. And this is filled with a hazelnut cream filling. And the regular Bomba, I, you know, it's take it or leave it to me, but this is very good. Um, I think the combination of peanut butter and chocolate, you really can't go wrong and I really love these. So these, and this is a like snack size bag um, that we found near the checkout and these are really good. I would recommend trying these if you like the peanut butter chocolate combo. And then I just wanted to mention that, you know, we were chatting with our um, super nice checkout lady um, about our weekend and how we're redoing our bathroom, which by the way, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it. Um, but you know, saying that's what we were spending most of our weekends doing. And we just were chatting with her as she was scanning. And we, after we checked out, she handed us one of these. Um, and she said, this is for your new bathroom to put near the window when it's all done. And I just thought that was so nice. It really made my day. The people at Trader Joe's are just so nice and helpful. And yeah, I just thought that was just a really wonderful thing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this Trader Joe's pumpkin themed haul. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and I can't wait to reach that. All right, I'll see you in the next one.